Hey guys, it's Holly. So despite only being four years since the Harry Potter theme relaunched, we've already got a remake from the newer wave of sets. In fact, these sets are only three years apart and both will be on shelves at the exact same time. Both are representative of the sort of clock tower buildings. However, their theming is centered around different areas, but they do share pretty much the same attributes. Now the set on the left is the 2019 Hogwarts Clock Tower which is set 75948 and has 922 pieces and currently retails for 90 US dollars. Which today will be put up against the brand new 2022 Hogwarts Hospital Wing which is set 76398 and has 510 pieces and retails for 50 US dollars. So the price point between these isn't too far or too drastic, however there is a very clear distinction in firstly just how these sets are designed using the different sort of Hogwarts systems, not to mention the roof color, the amount of minifigures, and even just the amount of side builds that are going on. So to kick off this comparison, let's have a look at our two groups of minifigures. Now on the left are the minifigures from the clock tower and on the right are the minifigures from the hospital wing and as you can see the clock tower has double the amount of figures at 8 whereas the hospital wing sits at around 4. Now considering the price of the clock tower is almost double that of the hospital wing I'm sort of not surprised. However I feel like a fifth figure really could have pushed the hospital wing up a tiny bit in terms of figures. However you do get a brand new and currently exclusive Madame Pomfrey minifigure with a brand new molded headpiece unlike the rest of the minifigures here which all use parts that have existed before however they've got a variety of different torso prints and a lot of them have very unique outfits which is incredible to see. Now as of March 2022 there are five exclusive figures remaining in the clock tower at the time of release all eight of them were exclusive however since then Harry, Ron and Hermione did appear in the 2022 Lego Harry Potter advent calendar so they are a bit cheaper and a bit more common however these are still pretty unique and special outfits so it's really great to see them in a set like this and again as of March 2022 currently all of the figures in the hospital wing are exclusive however I predict that only Madame Pomfrey will remain exclusive as there are rumors of an upcoming Shrieking Shack set as well as Sirius's escape and that definitely makes sense to have Harry, Hermione and Ron reusing these outfits as they all take place pretty much in the exact same sort of scene and time I'm fraying in the movie. In the Clock Tower, the characters you get are Madame Maxine, Fleur de la Cleur, Cedric Diggory, Victor Crumb, Ron Weasley, Hermione Granger, Harry Potter, and Professor Dumbledore. In the Hospital Wing, our four minifigures are Madame Pumphrey, Harry Potter, Hermione Granger, and Ron Weasley. Now for me, out of these two minifigure groups, I feel like the Clock Tower has the strongest selection. Firstly, you get five characters that aren't quite as common. I mean, technically I'd say four. However, we've only had the Michael Gambon Dumbledore in this set currently, as well as the Harry Potter series one CMF. So I sort of count him a bit rarer since it's not the Richard Harris version. Also, these outfits are incredibly unique and exclusive outside of this set, unless they're doing another Goblet of Fire or another Yule Ball exclusive set like they did with the advent calendar, I don't predict that these outfits are going to appear ever again, making them a bit more special. So out of these two, I definitely think the Clock Tower wins and not just because of the amount of figures you get, but also just the uniqueness of them. Now, while the hospital wing I feel like didn't do so well in terms of minifigures, when it comes to side builds, they are at a really big advantage. I really like the design of the clock towers build. I think it fits in perfectly. It's really the only thing though that says your ball in terms of that set besides like one tiny section and the outfits. And I feel like it does sort of tie the theming together. I love the build for the tree and the tables, but they're really not anything special. They're made out of pretty generic pieces for the most part, besides these transparent like pyramid pieces at the very top. So it's nothing too crazy or too unique. Whereas the hospital wing, while the builds are a lot more simple and there's not as many, you get a lot of really cool printed pieces. Continuing on from the theme from 2021, you get firstly two of these printed chocolate frog tiles. Now these unfortunately are random and there are no new ones in comparison to sort of the 2021 sets there, but they are still a really neat inclusion nevertheless. You get a tiny little lamp, but most importantly is this printed Skelly Grow piece and the whole Skelly Grow bottle with a printed skeleton baby head, which I think is absolutely adorable and incredibly funny as well. And not to mention the brand new printed Birdie Bots piece 
piece. Now this one currently is an exclusive in this set, which I'm personally quite glad about, but it's really great to have this piece appear nevertheless and really ties into all of the sort of hospital scenes and get well soon scenes that we see throughout the series of Harry Potter. Specifically, I feel like throwing it back to the first original film. There's also this little shopping trolley sort of candy cart thing with a bunch of transparent pieces which again are nothing special but look really cute as well as a printed chocolate frog bar and for me I feel like it's all of these printed elements as well as the brand new trunk top that really make me feel like the side builds for the hospital wing are a lot better than the clock tower. Again, the table of designs for the clock tower look really great, but they're just really not that special. They're all really solid, and I think the designers did a great job, but they're nothing overall to get too excited about. But moving on to the actual models and sets and castles themselves, as you can see, they are done in two very different styles. The biggest difference I feel like between these two, however, and the one that sticks out to me the most is definitely the colors of the roofs. Now in 2021, Lego did switch this up. They went back to the classic sand green roofs to pay sort of homage to the original Lego Harry Potter sets. And that seems to have stuck around. I've heard a few people say that they personally prefer it. I personally, however, don't. I much prefer the look of the dark grey. I sort of look at the microscale Hogwarts castle and I see the dark grey on there and it looks gorgeous. I even look at the theme park models or that giant scale replica in the London studio tour and to me the grey feels like a tiny bit closer to the movies which at the end of the day is what the current Lego Harry Potter license is based off. The movies not the books. So for me I actually went through and bought a bunch of replacement parts in order to swap the roofs out to grey on the newer models so having those green roofs is a bit of a hindrance for me however you may personally prefer the sand green though for me definitely in terms of just roof color the original clock tower really takes the cake for me with that the other big notable difference is just the structure in which these castles are built. Now, both of which can be taken apart into different sections, but both do it in incredibly different ways. Now, the original sort of rebooted Hogwarts castle system was a lot more simple. It was modular, but you had a bunch of pieces that really connected sideways in order to create a really long Hogwarts. You have three different sections with this build. Firstly, the main clock tower section on its own. Secondly, you have the Dumbledore's office prefix bathroom little tower here and then there's this third and the smallest section which is like the Yule Ball Great Hall sort of dancing area. On the newer models, however, you have this much different modular system, which sort of connects into different compartments. You've got a grand total of four different pieces in this set, with the bottom base all being connected via hinge joints, making it one section. You've got the actual clock tower piece itself, which is another section, as well as the two side roof pieces. And this is able to be interlocked and combined with the remaining modular Hogwarts pieces that all came out in 2021, and I imagine potentially more upcoming. Now, while technically these models can be combined together due to the Technic pins on both being at the same height, I feel like it doesn't quite work as well because this original section had a lot more depth to it, it had a lot more angles, and wasn't so sort of rectangular and stock standard as these newer ones are, which is personally not something I particularly enjoy. I think the modular pieces are really good if you're wanting to combine a Hogwarts and you really want to showcase off the interior, but from an exterior display point of view, I don't think they work quite as well. However, the hospital wing is definitely the most attractive out of all of those sets from the exterior. I feel like in a way it sort of does rival the architecture of the clock tower, which personally has been one of my favorite Hogwarts buildings that we've gotten so far. So I feel like if you're like me and you really like to display your Hogwarts from the exterior and really want just like a beautiful centerpiece sort of thing, you're definitely going to lean a lot more towards the clock tower than you will the hospital wing. However, if you want to get a place set and have like a dollhouse sort of model or even just showcase off the Hogwarts rooms and interiors, the hospital wing is definitely going to be the one for you because I feel like play wise, there's a lot more room to move around in. There's a lot more potential with the hospital wing. So in terms of the actual sort of clock tower portion, both of these builds are built incredibly similar. Firstly, they both share this giant printed dish piece, which looks absolutely fantastic, especially on the larger model. I feel like the scale just works a tiny bit 
better. You can see as well that it is paired with this printed sort of semi clock shield piece, whereas the other one uses that sort of typical regular city style two by two round plate, which does look pretty good, but it looks a heck of a lot smaller on the model. Also, one thing that I personally don't like about the hospital wing set is the fact that there is a lot of gaps in the actual clock section itself. Now from far away, I don't think it's quite as bad, but as you look closely, the whole thing you can actually completely see through. You can see the gears, you can see the Technic system of how this actually works. Whereas the whole system for the way that the clock tower one operates is all hidden. And a large portion of that is due to just the fact that this build is quite a bit bigger. It's able to sort of hide it a tiny bit. You can only really see that one Technic plate, which I wish could have been in tan, but unfortunately it's great. But in terms of seeing any gears or functions or axles or anything, you don't get any of that. I am appreciative though that what you do see out of the hospital wing is a gear and not an axle. It makes it feel a bit more realistic to an actual clock. Besides that though, a lot of the overall design is pretty similar. You've got a lot of these same archways and even underneath in the actual sort of more hospital wing section, there are again more archways. Same with the window panes and all of that. And overall, it's got a pretty similar vibe. However, in the actual inside, which we'll see in a second, the hospital wing in the clock tower belongs up here, whereas in this set it's down lower, which technically the clock tower is a tiny bit more accurate as in the Prisoner of Azkaban scene, which specifically the hospital wing is based off of. You can see the clock tower and see the whole gear system and the clock itself moving in the background of the whole time turner sequence where Harry and Hermione are going back in time. So I thought that was pretty interesting, but another similarity between these two sets is that they both have a function in order to change the gears on the clock. Now admittedly, the one in the hospital wing is a lot more easier to access because all you need to do is twist this bit at the top and the whole thing moves. Whereas in the clock tower, you'd have to spin it around and crank this little gear on the back in order for the handles to actually move around. Personally, I like the more contained version of the hospital wing, even though it does sort of make this one giant piece a bit too bulky in terms of the rest of that sort of modular system, but it's a lot easier to actually utilize. And I feel like personally, it's a lot cleaner than having a gear stick out of the back. Turning the sets around to the inside though, and you can see that there is a very distinct difference in terms of how the interior is done. With these older systems, they did have an interior, but it really felt quite lacking to me. I feel like the space wasn't quite utilized very much. Although, however, I do have to say that this clock tower section with the prefix bathroom was done incredibly well. Whereas these newer modular systems, I feel like focus a lot more on the interior. And while the hospital wing on the opposite end is a lot more weak, I guess, in terms of the modular builds. It still feels a lot more fleshed out and gives a lot more space for play, specifically when we compare it to the hospital wing section of the clock tower. Now, in terms of the hospital wing sections, these builds are pretty similar. Just one is by far more detailed than the other. Now, in order to show you this a tiny bit easier, I have stacked the official Lego set on top of some of the other modular sections. Keep in mind, these sections aren't actually included in the build. And what you will clearly see from the sort of hospital wing clock tower set is that the hospital wing is a lot more fleshed out. I mean, at the end of the day, this set is called Hogwarts Hospital Wing, not Hogwarts Clock Tower unlike the other one. My favorite thing about this hospital wing in comparison to the other one though is actually just the fact that the colors of the beds are accurate. The blue looks so much better than that weird green that was used in the clock tower. I think it looks incredibly accurate, not to mention the beds actually have railing, whereas the clock tower just had simple pillows and some legs to it. I mean, it worked really well and the fact that there's actually studs attached to these ones is great because it means you can put your minifigures on there and they can actually sort of go to sleep even though though they're all dressed in their Yule Ball attire. The builds for the side tables are actually incredibly similar. However, the newer version does have more of a cube one, whereas these ones are a one by two and not a two by two. The lamp builds as well are slightly different. Personally, I prefer the older ones. I just feel like the scale worked a lot better. However, they are made out of tap, so you've got a little bit of a rod sticking out of the back, whereas the newer ones are built on those sort of telescope pieces instead. Now, interesting 
interestingly enough, one thing that I think the clock tower version did do a lot better than the hospital wing is those blue drapes that are sort of hanging from the ceiling. The fact that they are attached to the clock tower on this set is amazing compared to the sort of additional side build with sticker panels that you only really get one of in this set that can't actually attach to the build either because of the fact that it's got a signpost for the bottom so there's no ability to sort of attach it and have the studs. I mean overall the design with the stickered panels looks great. I like how the colour scheme matches the beds and that certainly doesn't happen in the clock tower. However these ones are attached to the building, they are hanging up and you get multiples of them. However in the hospital wing you get three beds so there's a lot more sort of space to move around and even just floor space. I feel like there's a lot more of just ability to, in order to move around minifigures which you just don't get with the clock tower. Then again I feel like these older models were just more focused on the exterior instead of the interior which is something that tends to happen more with these modular buildings. There's also a lot more windows which firstly is a lot more accurate as well to just the overall design of the hospital wing. I think this set did an incredible job. However, that's where that set ends. If you go up to the rooftop, there's really nothing here. The clock tower as well, that empty space is just full of nothing. In the hospital wing you've just got a ton of unused space. You can take this brick off here and sort of give yourself a tiny bit more room to move around in but there's no like platform space, there's no extra builds, there's no just anything. Whereas with the clock tower the entire hospital wing section is in that rooftop. You can't see any of the clock because it's all built on the back side of this wall. The only real thing you get is the gears in order to actually activate the play feature. Whereas with the hospital wing everything is exposed from the back which for me personally I'm not a huge fan of. I mean I'm glad that it's at least gears and not sort of like an analog stick like we got with the clock tower but it feels like a massive waste of space this entire top section for me. It looks fine from the outside and the exterior but when you turn it around and actually use it as an interior playset it doesn't look quite good. However, from the clock tower, that is not all. On the second level of the building, we actually get Mad-Eye Moody's Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. Now, he wasn't included in this set, but there is space for him. You also get a stickered chalkboard piece, which is pretty neat, as well as some additional side builds and one tiny desk. It's not overall that good, I feel like, though. It feels very plain, very basic. It gets the idea across enough, but it really feels like they were just trying to cram something in that space. And you get the same feeling as you move down as well, with this really sort of pathetic goblet of fire build and this just random trunk which only houses a book in there. It's really not that interesting. I mean again it just feels like Lego was really trying to fill up the space. So there are the two clock towers and there is no doubt in my mind that I feel like the one from 2019 is just overall better value. To me, the exterior feels a lot better. The fact that it's a lot taller, firstly, is more accurate to the film, which I really love. The overall design as well is really interesting. There's a lot of unique features about it and honestly, I feel like it has to be one of my favorite just out of those older Hogwarts builds in general, which I really appreciate. There's a lot more rooms and while the interior honestly isn't that great, that is something you can modify a lot easier, I feel like, than modding the exterior of the hospital wing. The hospital wing's interior by far is a lot better, but even then it's incredibly empty and you're really only getting that bottom level, that entire top level feels just like a lot of empty space for me. So when putting these two sets side by side, I feel like the clock tower takes the cake easily. I'm sorry, Madam Pomfrey, you're gorgeous, but you alone just do not make up the set entirely. But let me know out of these two which one you prefer and which one you think is the better value. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel down below. And until next time, I'll see you later.